I'm just going to show the setup I've got for the um, garage testing. Uh, basically, I've got my tripod here right behind my car. Um, I put it so close to the car because I wanted to get more multipath interference. Um, so basically, as close as comfortable to the car. Charging setup in there or whatnot, uh, so I can get as much video testing as I want. Anyways, it's a pretty t standard parking garage. Um, pretty low as far as the ceiling height. And then it has, the what I like about this garage is that it has all of these um, like pieces that, that are stacked up like this. Um, so that causes like a huge amount of reflections for the video signal. Uh, so basically just trying to maximize the amount of multipathing. Um, and then also I parked right behind this wall. So you can see um, from basically here to there, anywhere behind that side on the garage I don't have a line of sight. Uh, so that's a really good test for out of line of sight performance behind, uh, and obviously at 5.8 gigahertz it's not going through that cement. So the receiver is going to have to rely on 100% multipathing for that area of flying. Um, another cool thing about this garage is that I can actually go outside uh, just by flying through right there. Um, pretty open out there but if I, if I gain altitude just like at least 5 feet then I'm going to have to go through all this cement right here or really around it. Uh, so it's a really good area for multipath testing. Um, so to be putting this CV 2.0 through its paces and first flight, uh, it's pretty good. I mean, my camera's really terrible. This is like a PZO 420, so like before any real FPV camera. So you can see in the in the footage, the it'll be all like washed out from the lights and crap like that. But just pay attention to the static because that's what the video receiver is actually doing. So, anyways, here's the quad. Um, it's a little RDQ 182. Uh, you can tell I fly old stuff. Um, at least I have a video aerial systems air blade on the video transmitter and then the Strix hoots and I've got them pretty lazily like this. It might be better if I actually put them up a little bit but whatever. It's multipathing and flying the HD V3s with the built in DVR. Uh, hopefully I'll be getting a nicer DVR or something soon for you guys and anyways uh, Cleary 2.0 of course and a little Bluetooth module on here. Uh, I don't really know if it actually does anything yet. I don't think there's software for it, but I just wanted to see in case there was interference. So, uh, so far it doesn't seem to be causing any issues, which is good considering like how close it is to the antenna. So that's great because it's BLE. Anyways, uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the video.
okay, you guys got to get this receiver. This is absolutely amazing. So I just flew from out that window over the top of the garage. And let me show you where I came out. Complete fail safe too, by the way, but saved it because I it fail safe dropped and then I was able to regain control when I got back in line of sight. But like, keep in mind, this is on 25 milliwatts and Omni's all around. Like, this is not supposed to happen. I was I was completely sure I was going to lose lock. Like, even over there too, I got way too far away. But yeah, so my car's over there. Little black uh, Impreza looking thing. And I flew over the parking garage, over here, and then back down through here. And my car's there. Like, what in the world? That's not supposed to happen. So, anyways, it's still sort of rainy, so I don't know if I want to rip this yet, but I think it'd be pretty sweet if I could. <laughs> 